<laughs> All right. Just one more time. Who are we going to vote for? Who? All right. Charlie, I think I've got him fired up for you. I'd like to introduce our MC for today, Charlie McKinney. Uh, organization and for the campaign here in Loudoun County. And I'm also a very new uh, member of the Loudoun County Republican Committee, and I'd encourage you, if you have not joined the Loudoun County Republican Committee, to do that real soon, because it's a great group. Well, he's too young, and uh, he's not had a whole lot of experience. He'll be raising taxes. Uh, uh, President Obama has said that he would sit down without precondition with the leaders of Iran, Venezuela. He doesn't have the experience. He's a Johnny come lately. What do we know about it? And the media, also by, um, in my opinion, favoring Obama, has actually helped drive me away from him because I'm not feeling as though the Americans are getting the truth. Yeah, I'd probably be too liberal. He's too much to the left for you. He's messed up with Bill Ayers, mm. and I think that is a bad thing. Well, they said he was the one that bombed the Twin Towers or had a part in it. His uh, buddies and friends, uh, really, they're tourists. One of them blew up the, the Senate building and all. Washington and done everything. He claims to be Christian and I take people at their word. My understanding is now he's, he's a Christian, mm -hmm. but he keeps going back to the Quran, which is not the, the Christian faith. Mm -hmm. Being with Reverend Wright for 20 years and didn't know what he was talking about. That didn't, that don't go good with me. All of the hate that he espoused against the United States. And, and the man that sat there in his church and listened to that 20 years. That religion has is, is only been around probably three or four hundred years. And it went from being a, a, a religion in Iraq. And you have to realize when you get into the Muslims and all, not to be a, a racist on religion, that the true blue ones that go through the Quran and all, like he quotes a lot of times when he's confused, are the ones that, uh, that we're fighting. I have no problem with black. Some of my best friends are black, and, and I'm, I'm definitely not racist, and, and I have no problem with black. I don't know how familiar you are with the Negro race, but uh, the female rules the roost. And, and Michelle is very strong. There's about enough color out there to put him in. That's what we're afraid of. Um, and you said you're a, a registered Democrat? Yes. You were thinking you might stay at home and not vote for Obama, even though you're uh, yes, well, because of the race color, I guess. Mm -hmm. I will be concerned about, he's got an awful lot of appointees, and I'll be somewhat concerned of the quality of people that he might appoint. Not race, but the quality. Mm -hmm. Uh, favoritism, you know, to the black people, mm -hmm. if a bomb mm -hmm. win. Uh, I'm not against black people. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they're people just like white people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but uh, this may be start of trouble later on. Mm -hmm.
if, if he starts helping them more than the white or something. Mm -hmm. He could be a sleeper. The old communist sleeper cell. Put somebody in there, let him raise up, and then 40 years down the road, put him someplace of power and then do this, do that, do the other. And Obama's just going to bring it down further because the American middle class is going to have to work twice as hard to support those that he's supporting through government funding. White trash, please pardon the expression, niggers, and Mexicans. Oh, feel sorry for me. I was a slave. Whoop the shit. So the black families were slaves long before. However, my family was slaves before they were, and we lived here. You know, I mean, I, I wish Mr. Obama well as a man, as an individual. I wish him nothing but health, happiness, and his family. I, I, I want him to live a, a good, happy life. I, I, I want the best for him. They seem like nice people.